Hey YouTubers and we're back at it again with another Tekton product which is made in the USA. And I just want to start out by saying this is their new classic 6-in-1 multi-bit screwdriver. No, Tekton is not paying me to do tool reviews for them or anything like that. If you guys have been watching my channel you guys already know that I love Tekton tools and I've had a lot of their products for a few years now. Uh, I am affiliate with them. So if you do use the link down in the description to purchase any tools from Tekton, a uh, small percentage goes to improving the channel. But other than that, it doesn't affect what you pay. Plus, if you use the Tekton website and make an account, which is free, whatever you purchase, you get 10% off and free shipping. That 10% off goes onto your account as cash towards your next purchase at Tekton. <laughs> That's a great deal. Plus, they have a good student program and stuff like that. I mean, Texan's got a lot of good stuff. And their products, lifetime, guarantee, no hassle. Uh, so, like I was saying, USA Made Product. I'm here to do unboxings and reviews and uh, share the products that I like with you guys. So, please, let me know your guys' thoughts. So, like I was saying, this is the classic 6-in-1. They're all the same, yet different. They're different, yet the same. And basically, the handles and uh, shanks or tubes, bit tubes, are all the same. The only difference is going to be the bits included with them. The good thing is, at Tekton as well, is you can either purchase just the handle or the tube or the bits all separately. $5 for the handle, $2.50 for the tube, $2.50 for the uh, bit. Or you can just buy, you know one set and then all their bits individually it doesn't matter you can purchase them all separately or you can buy them as sets all for ten dollars so that's a pretty good deal so USA ten dollars it's a glass reinforced nylon handle and it's made in Michigan now that's another thing I want to mention about Tekton they're not like other tool companies you know, the ones out there that are constantly trying to hide where their tools are made. They don't say it on the website. They try and hide it on the box. You know, stuff like that. Tekton's not like that. As soon as you go to the Tekton website, you click on specs for whatever tool you're looking at, and it will tell you specifically right there. USA, Taiwan, China, you know, whatever. Uh, so even on these, let's be clear about this. In the picture, it will show you handle made in Michigan USA the tube and bit made in Taiwan they're not trying to hide anything and there's nothing wrong with that some people like to know exactly where their products are made and at least they're telling you each individual part as well so the these are gonna be machine steel bits which are made in Taiwan and I already told you the price of each individual part that you can purchase other than that this is the most common one that I would use it's Phillips and flathead on both sides um, and then you get your two nut drivers you got a quarter inch and five sixteenths which is great because at work besides three eighths quarter inch and five sixteenths are my go-to sizes for my fasteners so this would work great at work um, other than that the handle design they kept it classic simple uh, and that's fine it's a bit screwdriver. It's not ratcheting. It's comfortable in the hand. It doesn't have any fancy, you know, over mold of rubber or anything like that. It's just a classic handle that's nice and comfortable. Uh, the bits stay in there very well, no matter how well or how hard I slam it down, the bits don't come out. Where, as some of my other ratcheting screw or bit screwdrivers, multi bit screwdrivers, like my south wires, I'm constantly having an issue when I put my bit in there. This is more than a six in one, but it's constantly dropping that, and it's because of the ball detents, but it gets super annoying, especially when you got a bit just flopping around down here. Also, uh, set that guy up there. This is ratcheting, which is nice, but it's extremely loud. And look how big this thing is. I mean, this thing is a monster. I mean, unless you got big old bear paws, this might work great for you, but I hope you're not working in any sort of small situation or tight spots. 
So this is going to be much better for tight spots. It's comfortable. It's uh, a good size. So that's great. Now, the only downside to multi-bit screwdrivers that I have is it's not like your standard screwdriver where you can get different lengths, you know, or it's not as easy or, you know, as common to see different length screwdrivers and then the shaft diameter and stuff. The great thing about this is the Southwire ones are super thick, whereas uh, Tekton was able to keep the tube a smaller diameter. You still got your quarter inch or five sixteenths, which is very useful. But Tekton also has their standard normal screwdrivers as well. These are made in the USA. I've had these for a couple years and I absolutely love them. These are probably some of my favorite handle designs ever. When I first saw them, I was like, those don't look very comfortable at all. After I bought them, these are some of the most comfortable screwdriver handles I've ever used. The great thing is it's a three-sided design so you can apply a lot of torque Yet, if you need to push firmly, it does have a ball-shaped end, and you can still apply a lot of torque, or for speed, that's easy as well. Uh, very, very nice screwdrivers. I love the rubber here, just the shape of it. It's, it's a very, very good screwdriver. Um, as far as their standard screwdrivers, you can get them in two-piece all the way up to 16-piece, and it ranges from $12 to $50. So, really good prices, and... All of these have a lifetime warranty, so it's really good. Um, the other thing that I like about this is it has a black oxide finish to it instead of black paint or plating or anything like that that can chip on the tip and then it changes uh, your tip size and that can be really frustrating. Uh, now with a black oxide, you do need to be aware that you, you know, every once in a while just run uh, three in one oil on it or anything like that because a black oxide is the same thing that uh, is used on firearms. So it's nice because the size will never change. But, and it does resist rust, but it's best to keep a light film of oil on it just to prevent it. Especially if you, you know, you're working in a lot of humid places and stuff like that. Okay, so I should probably show you uh, the bit sizes and stuff that come with these screwdrivers. Even though you can find it in the description on their website, it might just be easier. This is a T10 and T15 and a T20 and T25. And then the other Torx is going to be a T20 and T25 and then a T27 and T30. And then as far as the square bit, it is going to be S2 and S3, and S0 and S1. And then as far as your standard Phillips, you got the quarter inch and two, and then the three sixteenths and one. So your standard screwdriver sizes and uh, your different options. So let's get back to me talking. Again, with these, I do want to mention the handles. They they do resist cracks, scratches, dents, chipping, uh, high impact. It resists fuel, um, grease, cleaners, solvents. You know all the chemicals that you find in the workplace and high temperatures. So that's really good, uh, plus you get that lifetime warranty. But I think I covered as much as I can. I mean, the only thing else I can do is use them in future videos and show you guys. But if you guys are interested in any of these products, they are linked down in the description to the Tekton website. And then I also have an Amazon link where I list a whole bunch of other tools and Camaro parts and stuff like that that I uh, think are nice tools. So please, let me know your guys' thoughts, not just on Tekton themselves, but... If you've used these screwdrivers, or possibly maybe you've already bought one of these new 6-in ones, please let me know your guys' thoughts, and I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and as always, subscribe if you're not a subscriber.